Hey everyone, welcome back to the networking series. Today, we're diving into the world of wireless networking. In this video, we'll explore how Wi-Fi works, the key components that make wireless networking possible, and how to optimize your wireless network for better performance. Whether you're at home, in an office, or running a large business, understanding how to configure and improve wireless networks is essential. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp on how Wi-Fi operates and the steps you can take to get the most out of your wireless network. Let's get started. Okay, first off, let's define what wireless networking is. Simply put, wireless networking allows devices to communicate with each other and with a network without the need for physical cables. The most common type of wireless networking is Wi-Fi which enables devices like laptops, smartphones, and smart home gadgets to connect to a network and to the internet. Wi-Fi operates using radio waves to transmit data between devices and the wireless access point or router. The access point is connected to the wired network and acts as the gateway between your wireless devices and the rest of the network. Wi-Fi networks are based on standards set by the IEEE. And the most common standard is 802.11. Over the years, several versions of 802.11 have been developed, including 802.11n, 802.11ac, and the latest 802.11ax, which is also known as Wi-Fi 6. Each version brings improvements in speed, capacity, and range. For example, Wi-Fi 6 offers faster data transfer rates and better performance in crowded environments like offices, airports, and homes with a lot of devices. If you're using an older router, upgrading to a newer standard like Wi-Fi 6 can make a big difference in your network's performance. Let's talk about the two main frequency bands used by Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. The 2.4 gigahertz band has a larger range and can pass through walls more easily, but it's also more susceptible to interference from other devices, like microwaves and cordless phones, which use that same frequency. This band is typically more crowded, especially in areas with a lot of Wi-Fi networks like apartment buildings. On the other hand, the 5 gigahertz band offers faster speeds and less interference, but it has a shorter range and struggles to pass through walls. Many modern routers support dual band, which means they can use both 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz band simultaneously, allowing you to choose the best option for your environment. When setting up a Wi-Fi network, you'll need to configure an SSID or service set identifier. The SSID is simply the name of the Wi-Fi network that appears when devices search for networks to connect to. You can have multiple SSIDs on the same network, which is useful for creating something like a guest network or segmenting different types of traffic. Wi-Fi networks are secured using encryption protocols. The most common encryption standard today is WPA3 or Wi-Fi Protected Access 3, which provides strong security for your wireless network. If your router doesn't support WPA3, make sure it's using at least WPA2, as older protocols like WEP are no longer secure and can be easily compromised. Remember, WEP gets whipped. Security is crucial for wireless networks because they're more vulnerable to attacks than wired networks. Without proper security, someone within range of your Wi-Fi signal could potentially intercept your data or even gain unauthorized access to your network. Now, let's talk about signal strength and interference. One of the biggest challenges with wireless networking is maintaining a strong, reliable signal. A weak signal can lead to slow speeds, drop connections, and poor performance, especially when you're talking about streaming video or gaming online. To optimize your Wi-Fi network, start by positioning your router in a central location, preferably away from thick walls, metal objects, and other electronic devices that can cause interference. The height of your router also matters. Placing it higher up, like on a shelf, can improve coverage as well. Next, consider upgrading your router's antenna or using Wi-Fi extenders or mesh Wi-Fi systems to improve coverage in large spaces. Mesh Wi-Fi systems are particularly effective in eliminating dead zones and ensuring strong coverage throughout your home or office. 
These systems consist of multiple access points that work together to create a single seamless network. Let's also touch on channel selection. Wi-Fi networks operate on different channels within the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz bands. In crowded areas, multiple networks might be using the same channel, causing interference and slowing down your connection. You can use tools like Wi-Fi analyzers to check which channels are less congested and manually set your router to use those channels for better performance. Another way to improve your Wi-Fi network is by enabling QoS or quality of service. QoS allows you to prioritize certain types of traffic like video streaming or gaming over other types of data. This ensures that the most important or time sensitive traffic gets the bandwidth that's needed when it's needed, even when the network's busy. Lastly, don't forget about firmware updates for your router. Manufacturers frequently release updates to improve performance, fix bugs, and enhance security. Keeping your router's firmware up to date is an easy way to ensure your network is running at its best. So to recap, Wi-Fi is a type of wireless networking that uses radio waves to connect devices to the network. It operates on the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz frequency bands with newer standards like Wi-Fi 6 offering faster speeds and better performance. To optimize your wireless network, make sure to position your router properly, secure it with strong encryption like WPA3, and consider updating to mesh Wi-Fi or using Wi-Fi extenders to improve coverage. In the next video, we'll be diving into firewall basics, where we'll explain what firewalls are, how they work, and how they protect your home network from threats. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you all for watching. I truly mean that. It means a lot to me. Your support is very much appreciated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.